Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Madan. In this demo, we are going to learn how we can extend identity user in our ASP.NET Core MVC application. So what I am talking about is whenever we create a new user, that is whenever we register a new user, then we have a, a couple of fields here, email, password and confirm password. But what if we want to add uh, extra information about the user, let's say the first name, last name, address and other things. So today we are going to do that and here I have created a simple uh, MVC project ASP.NET Core MVC project and uh, this project has been created by using the individual authentication and this option uh, you can get this option when creating the project and uh, if you have been watching my previous videos then uh, uh, you know how to do this so i have created a empty <coughs> mbc project here and uh, now we are going to extend our identity user and add extra fields so by default the sv.net core mbc uses the identity framework for uh, user authentication and all the information about the users are stored in the sp.net user database table so if i go to the app setting.json on the default created project then the name of our database is ASP.NET Extending Identity User and so let's browse that and you can browse the uh, this is the uh, local DB in memory DB uh, local SQL DB uh, that is available from Visual Studio and uh, uh, if you want to view the database then you can go to the uh, SQL Server Explorer Object Explorer and from here we can explore the database so let's select this one and then in the database we have the ASP.NET extending identity user and if we browse the tables then in the tables we can see that we have uh, ASP.NET users and in this ASP.NET users we have couple of columns that are already created by the identity framework so these are the default columns now we want to add more columns into this table and uh, add information to the user whenever we register the user so the first step would be to create a model class so let's head over to the model and then i'm going to add a class called application user you can name it anything you like and this class should inherit from identity user and uh, let's bring in the namespace for this now you can add as many fields as you want here so i'm going to add a couple of fields here the string first name last name so let's add these two fields here now you can add as many fields as you like as you want or as for the need of your application now we are going to let's save this and we are going to register this class to the application db context as a db set so prop db set of application user application users now based on this uh, we're gonna need to create the migration so I'm going to use the package manager console and then create a migration add migration user and it has successfully created the migration and from the migration we can see that it is modifying the underlying ASP.NET users table and it has added first name and last name on that table here now let's update the database and looks like it has successfully updated the database now if we go over to our table and uh, check the ASP.NET user columns then now let's refresh this refresh and then if we browse the columns then we can see our first name and last name has been created successfully so this is how easy it is to add extra properties and the columns to the uh, existing ASP.NET users table so the next step is uh, if we want to add users first name and last name whenever we register the user then we need to add those fields here but uh, if you are working with ASP.NET Core 3.0 then the those fields those uh, files related to the identity framework are hidden by default so we need to generate those 
and uh, here in the areas we have identity and pages but uh, nothing is here so we need to generate those files uh, related to the identity that is the files for registering user so in order to generate those two files you need uh, to install a couple of NuGet packages here first of all you need to install this uh, uh, dot uh, dot net asp.net code generator globally into your system so you can copy this and then i'm installing that from the dot net console command line so you can install from you can install from the new get as well but i prefer this way so let's copy this Here dash g means that this uh, this is gonna going to install globally and is available to any of our project in the future. And uh, it says uh, it is already installed since I have already installed this package. Now we need to install this Microsoft Visual Studio Web Code Generation Design to our project. And this is not installed globally, but we need to install this locally into our project. But anyway, if you browse open the console uh, and then console of your project and then uh, run this command then this will install uh, this package into our project locally so this has been successfully installed now in order to generate the files register and the login we don't need to login but if you want to generate the register file for the asp.net core identity then we need to run this command here so the command would be dot net asp.net code generator identity and we need to pass the database context and uh, that is the our application db context class which is uh, under the namespace of extending identity user dot data and we need to provide the full namespace here if we go over to our application db context then it has the namespace of extending identity user dot data so we need to provide that namespace and our class and the files that we need to generate so we need to generate account.register and account.login although we are only going to use account.register in this con context in this demo so i'm going to select this and then paste it on the command so this command line is uh, uh, the one i have opened from the uh, project folder so for that you can go to the open folder and then from here you can select cmd and you can run that so i'm going to run that and it is generating those files so looks like it has successfully generated those files here and then let's check those so in the areas identity folder now we can see more files here account and inside the account we have login and register file now we are going to make change to our register.cshtml and in the register.cshtml we are going to add first name and the last name so let's copy this and then paste it here so this will be first name first name first name and this will be the last name the last name now those fields are coming from the input model and that input model is in the register.cshtml.cs file so this is the input model we need to add those properties here as well so let's add them the string first name and another could be string last name and let's save them and let's check and the error has gone now we need to do one extra thing here so whenever it register the user in this on post async it creates the identity user now we are going to use our application user and then let's bring in the namespace for this and in this application user we have our custom fields first name and last name so first name equals input dot first name and then last name last name equals input dot last name 
so this creates the new application user with our custom fields and then it registers them so let's save this and let's run the application so i'm going to do dot net watch run and the server is starting up so let's refresh now as you can see there are two more fields here now let's register the user gmail.com password and then let's say first name and the last name so let's register and uh, it has successfully registered our user now let's see if those first name and last name has uh, been inserted into the database or not so let's expand the table and ASP.NET identity ASP.NET users table and then let's click on view data now from here we if I scroll to the end then we can see our first name and last name has been successfully added so in this way we can customize the default identity user available and that comes with the identity framework and uh, add extra fields by just inheriting that identity user to our model and uh, make couple of changes so this is it for now friends and if you like this video then please don't forget to share and subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day